do you want to hit longer straighter drives and what we need to do is stop making this motion and hitting drives just like that guys today we're talking about driving we're talking about hitting longer straighter drives we're talking about getting off the tee box there yes you've avoided this overhanging tree but we've not made it past the yellow tees. That was a great demonstration. James Robinson will be absolutely proud of that one. But he's not here today. He is in Korea. I am in Windermere. We couldn't get further away. But guys, we're going to talk about driving today. So obviously, one big thing we see from people is trying, okay, I need to hit the ball harder. I need to hit it further. So I've got to try and hit at it a little bit more. Once we try and hit at it and get a little bit more speed, we lose our angles on the way back and get very much into this kind of position. And then we don't get them back into the downswing and we don't get a strike. Your strike moves all over the face. There's a few things that set up that we need to check before we do this. To make sure you can hit longer straighter drives hit this fantastic fairway here on the seventh hole at windermere that's what we need to talk about right now so from face on for people to hit longer straighter drives what we often start to see is yeah if i get my stance a little bit wider i've got a little bit more of a solid base to be able to really turn on and this is what we kind of start to see we start to see a lot of movement off the ball we also lose our angles in the shoulders and then from there it's very hard for me to get all the way back to that golf ball so a lot of times we'll stay back we might get the occasional air shot or we'll get the top we'll get exactly the same shot as you did there so we've got to think about right yes we want a wider stance it's a little bit wider than shoulder width but we've got to make sure that that's nice and solid and from there i'm really trying to turn central if i turn central i'm loaded over my base i can then can push off and generate the correct amount of speed the correct sequence to be able to hit longer straighter drives also, one thing to watch is that that ball position doesn't sneak outside of the left foot. Again, we're either going to be hitting up on that ball or maybe hit a quick left, but we can also leave it wide open and hit one to the right here. So get that ball position correct, get a nice solid base. But then the key here is my spine angle. So when I get into setup, I should start to see that my left hip bumps towards the target and I'm now angled away from my target. I can still then really start to turn nice and centered. But from here, I can now start to turn into that golf ball and get into a strong position here. Sternum still behind the ball, hitting up with a little bit of loft off that driver and start to pressure that ball towards my target. And that is huge in regards to being able to get the ball with less curvature and get it going further and down the middle so from down the line obviously one big thing we say is yes maybe you're a senior golfer maybe as we all are getting a little bit stiffer a little bit older and we can't move as easy so if we've got a limited backswing if we're somebody who only gets to here because i can't move then we need to think about how can we get you that little bit more turn get that club traveling further to be able to generate you that little bit more speed and one big thing you'll see from people who hit long drives is to generate more speed they need to get obviously a longer swing but they start to let this left foot come off the ground so on the way back they start to let that left foot come off so i can feel like i can turn a little bit more and then the downswing they start to put that foot down and then start to get that sequence so it's a little bit like the step drill you'll have seen somebody like Padre Carrington do and that's why still he's one of the longest hitters in the backswing he will have that foot come off a little bit he then stamps that left foot down into the downswing and generates that little bit of speed and if I do that you can still see I can maintain my angles I can get that left foot to come up a little bit and I can still hit solid drives up there a little bit toey there but you'll see that has actually gone straight up the middle stripe and that's what we want to see you see if i come in again there i didn't have to put much energy into that i've got the strike it wasn't perfect because that's something i haven't done for a long time but right up the middle i've got control of that club face i've got control of the start line again if i do that the same get my stance not too wide bump the hip on the back so i'm going to let that foot come up a little bit you'll see again there still not the best strike for me because that is a strange moment that i need to practice on the driving range but that's two drives straight up the middle and that's the key here we were wanting to get the ball going in the direction we want we want that up the middle they were both toe strikes but have both hit the center stripe and will allow me to get to this hole in two if i now put that on a normal swing with me keeping that foot planted and starting to get the same kind of feel and the same kind of tempo
You'll see a very similar shot, but a better strike a lot further up there. And that is three fairways out of three. So guys, make sure you get those basics correct at setup. Make sure we can start to keep your angles. If we are limited to turning, then we can allow that left foot to work up a little bit to allow us to get the club traveling a little bit further. We know if we do that, it's gonna generate more club head speed. It's hopefully gonna give you a little bit more control. And as the rain comes down, I'll walk up there and play those in. But guys, that has been Get Good At Golf and we'll see you later in the week.